So, bro, you know my best friend, Yobo, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna set you guys up on a blind date. As you guys saw in the last video, Ike set me up on a date with the person he claims was the man of my dreams. I, why would you do that? I'm not dating anybody. Love, you should meet this person. Trust me. It'll shape your whole life. Did you? It'll Did you? change everything, I promise you. You yeah. told somebody about me? Wow, well, you guys, I really don't feel like doing this. Bro, it's not a date. It's a connection of a lifetime. You know, I, I guess it's fair being that, you know, I set Ike up on a blind date. I just really didn't think that he'd set me up on one, too, especially because he knows I'm not necessarily dating right now. I'm just not, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I feel like I've had some experiences where I just feel like, you know what, I think it might be focused on me season and I'm not going out my way to meet anyone. Wow. <laughs> Famous Noah. Oh, Prince, right? Prince. Wow. Hi. Good to see you. So how you doing? I'm good, nice to see you again. Again? Yeah, we, we've met before. No, we have not met before. No, we have what? a party. It was like a few years back. Yeah, you have a really nice way of talking. I, I like it. I have never gotten that before. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Not you making me blush. And the date actually was a lot more than I could ever imagine. And it honestly felt like the start of something new. I have it all. Not me kind of liking you. Yeah. yeah, not that happening. No? Wow. I mean, if we have a second date, would you tell me more about the Capricorn experience in a bit more detail? Um... Big if, because I'm just assuming at this point you want to see me again. But everything that glitters isn't gold. Me looking to my mom as an example. Okay. So I grew up in a household, very loving, three kids and it's myself. not even red flag, though. No, no? Yeah, with the mom thing, yeah. Oh, no, absolutely not. I love my mom. Oh, no, absolutely. No, you love your mom, and yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Um, I just think that sometimes, like, when guys kind of compare their dating experience to their mom, sometimes it puts, like, yeah. pressure on women that, you know, you're trying, to, yeah. you're trying to date your mom, you're trying to date me. You like, know, you're... it would be interesting if you actually heard what I was going to oh, say about my okay. mom first. Um, okay, sorry about that. But... So, to be honest, you guys, um, I didn't want to say this, I didn't want to do this. The video and the date, it took so long to come out because something happened. And I thought a lot about whether I wanted to share this with you guys and post about it, because I just, you know, part of this is my personal life as well. Essentially, I went on this date with the guy, and as you guys know, I didn't want to do it, and I was completely shocked, blindsided, you know, about this whole thing. So I went on the date, and surprisingly, it went really well. Um, I couldn't, I, like, it was definitely one of the best dates that I've been on this year. I felt like with this guy, I got to really connect with him. We had a lot of things in common, a lot of similarities. And I thought that while I didn't expect it and while I didn't want to date, it actually turned out to be really good. The problem is what happened after the date. What the hell is going on? Because I just feel like I didn't deserve that. I don't think anybody does. And right now, I'm actually on my way now to go meet with Ike because he was the person that set up this date. And this is his friend. I know you guys are probably really confused right now, so I'm gonna show you the date so you can see where I'm coming from. The way you look at that camera is exactly how you're gonna look at him by the end of the day. I promise you. Connection. My name is Prince David Okebalama. I'm 32 years old, uh, currently live in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I work as a strategic enterprise director at a biotechnology firm, and I've been in the, the SaaS slash tech space for around seven years now. Why, why would you set me up on a date with somebody I've never even met before? Like, why would you do that? Uh, so I am also a Nigerian newly minted American. I just became a citizen this year, so I'm very excited about that. I, I literally told you, I do not want to date anybody right now. I'm not looking. I'm tired. I don't want, I don't want to date anybody. The longest relationship has been around three years. Um, it was a couple of years ago and unfortunately had to end. I, but okay, but what is he like? Like, tell me more about him. Like, I don't know. I really, I don't, honestly, I don't, I don't even know why I agreed to do this, honestly. Like, I actually set you up with K-On because I'm like, I think that you guys would be good. Who is this guy? Um, and now I'm looking for something that's meaningful because for me, dating is sort of a precursor to potentially marriage, so. Not that 
I don't want to date. Like, I want to be in a relationship, honestly, and I do want to eventually get married, you know, next couple years. But I'm exhausted. The streets. I'm just listening. I'm going to tell the guy straight up. Hey, my friend actually hooked me up with this. I didn't really want to do this, but we can just hang out, talk, but I'm not really interested right now. I'm not looking. I'm looking forward to this date with Noma uh, because I've heard a lot about her through my friend Ike and, you know, who knows? I hope she likes me uh, and this could become a thing, but, you know, I'm just going into it open-minded and we'll see if we get along. I mean, to be honest with you, um, I don't even know why Ike set this up because I don't want I'm not dating right now so like I do want to just say that I want to put that out there I mean we don't need to get to that yet let's get to know each other first don't you think yeah I feel like I just want to put that out there though like I'm not really looking for anything okay. I'm sure you're a nice guy I know that you and Ike are like pretty close yeah yeah that's my bro it's just like a surprise that we haven't like met yeah like since I haven't crossed yeah yeah but it's okay I mean I'm glad I'm here you look fantastic thank you you and, too uh, what happened hey hey what's going on um I actually want to talk to you about something okay. are you pregnant I'm sorry I no. just I can't. um no, I'm not. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right. Right. Yeah. So you shouldn't be upset. No. Um, no, but seriously though, Ike, like I actually did want to talk to you about something mm -hmm. um, that happened to me. Um, <sighs> like. Ike told me a lot about you, so. What did he say? I'm about to find out for myself. <laughs> well, okay. Um, I do have a few questions, I guess. Yeah. Um, number one, what's your sign? Because I don't do Capricorns. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, do. I don't. It's a zodiac sign. Yeah, I, I am. I am. Uh, I'm a Leo. Oh, okay. Is okay. that a good thing? Is that a Leo's a check mark actually, or Yeah, because I'm a Libra, so Leos actually go well with um, Libras. Libras. Yeah, right. that's awesome. What happened? The date that you put me on, the date yeah. that you set up, that I didn't want to be set up, and I'm kind of like upset that you did. Why? Right. I, I don't know. It just kind of didn't end up like what I thought. Why didn't it I mean, like, you? I mean, like, okay, like you saw the date, I was on the date, and I talked to you about it that night and how great it went, right? You know what's funny about you? What's funny about me? You date African women, <laughs> but I Why feel is like that funny. I feel like you have a preference from what I've um, seen. So there are two things we need to circle back to. Okay. Why is it funny that I date African women, and two? What gives you the impression that I have a preference? One, it's not funny that you date African women. Right. That was just a sort expression. of... Okay. Yeah, it was an expression. Yeah. I don't know, you seem to have a preference when it comes to African women. Mm. Um, in terms of region. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going with this. An so, East African woman. Interestingly enough, mm -hmm. right? Interestingly enough, I didn't think I had a preference mm -hmm. until my brother sent me kind of like a grid of like the last three or four girls that I've dated. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was a little bit of a trend. And there's nothing wrong, like they're beautiful. No, it just, it's a coincidence to me. I haven't heard from him. Are you sure it went great? I don't know, do you ever? You saw it, you saw it. So do you like to be in control in your relationships? I'd say so. I, I think that alpha female kind of goes against what society's expectations of a woman would be in right. terms of like submission and stuff. Correct. And I'm, I'm okay with being submissive to a man that's leading and that deserves it, Correct. you know, so, so I don't know. So my theory on that is specifically from the female perspective is, you know, a lion pride, for example. Right? Lion pride. That's right. a very Leo. You you thing have for you to say. <laughs> you very have, Leo. You have lions. You know, because Leos are lions. Yeah, we're lions. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're lions. <laughs> <And> <laughs> you have um you have lionesses that essentially lead the pride, right? They're the ones that do the, the hunting, they bear the children, they take care of the pride and everybody has their role. And even like as an alpha 
like female, mm-hmm. you have the ability to choose when you want to be submissive. Like submissive, the be- people miss that part. It's like you can be alpha all you want, mm-hmm. but you have the flexibility to take a step back when needed. It's exhausting if you're the one just. Is that the type of woman that you like? Prince is just looking at her like, you gonna submit or not? Nah? Like that man is waiting to find out where he gonna come in. Mm. Okay, okay, I, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, like, know, this, know. you know this is actually the reason why I didn't want to start me. dating again. Like, I, I wanted to use this time for me, and I get yeah, it. Like, hear me out, give him, give him a chance. What if, they, have you given him a chance to explain? Oh, I, I think that we're really getting deep here. Yeah, we and, are. Um, I didn't started expect, it. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't expect <laughs> any of this, and I just want to put that out there. How do you think the date's going so far? Are we calling this a date? I mean, there's food. The lights are really pretty. It's a nice day out. I mean, it's just two I, of us. We true, take a date and a time. I again. Um, this is your friend. Does yeah, he do this to women? Is this the reason why he hasn't had, you know, a, a, a girlfriend in a little bit? Well, I'm just gonna be frank. Um, do you find me attractive? Prince, please compliment Yuma needs this now. Compliment now. I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. I think you're very beautiful. And I like the way you speak as well. Have you heard your voice before? This man is right out of Nollywood. Who wrote those lines? Jesus. Um. Yeah, you have a really nice way of talking. I, I like it. I have never gotten that before. Thank you. Yeah. yeah Not yeah. you making me blush. You need, to, you need to start a podcast or something. I listen. I'd subscribe today. <laughs> All right, Prince, laying it on thick. <laughs> I am okay. Well, I find you attractive too. I, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. This is like a little, like this whole thing is like a little, like I don't know. He's not a disrespectful guy. I, I just gotta talk to him. Let me talk to him. Yeah, because I, I, I want to know what happened. I don't think he has, he has this in his character. Do you think it was like the like the fact that we recorded it and everything? Like you think he just wasn't ready for that? Yeah, maybe you made it a little heavy. Maybe you laid it all. I don't know, but like I think aside from that, I like, hit him with a bunch of questions, like it was an interview. But he hit me with questions, and it was actually a good date. So yeah, what I counter you, but nobody wants to do that every time you're going on a date. He was into it. You saw it. You talked to him. Mm-hmm. I talked what to him. A good actor. I don't know, but I'm not gonna lie. It did kind of make me feel a little bit way because, like, why would you do that to me? You're really passionate about your work. That's what he told me. So that's like. And I just told you that I don't want to work. Yeah, so, so someone's lying. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> who, who is it? I don't know. And it's like we kind of had something. Maybe, I don't know. But and then to just disappear. When was the last time you talked to him? You speak really passionately about certain topics like your mom. Yeah. Um, where you are now, where you were. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you could see that. Yeah, no, I can I can really see that. That's good. Do you like that? Um, yeah. I I, I just I guess I can appreciate how passionate you are mm. about this and it just seems as if you know, I feel like you don't take things for granted. So I don't take the women I did for granted too. When was the last time you talked to him? A couple of days ago. I I don't think it was all right, Prince. This is a cute love story, and you know what? I gotta ask the hard hitting question because I don't. It's feeling, it's feeling Cinderella right it's now, too, and I just. It's too sappy. We can fix this. We can fix this. There's gotta be a way. I don't think it's something. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fix with anybody that doesn't want to even talk to me. Like I'm good. I, I, I don't. Somebody doesn't want to talk to you. Fight. You know, just fight. You know, because I, I want to. You know. Because I just want to reiterate. One of this is by force. I didn't want this to. What are your intentions right now? Like when it comes to like your love life, mm-hmm. dating. Yeah. Can I be honest with you? Mm-hmm. Um, I've had, I've had not so positive experiences dating recently. Okay. And a lot of that is down to me, not the people that I've dated. Okay, I, I love the accountability. Yeah. Um, I've had the tendency to self-sabotage a little bit because for the last five years, I've come into like relationships with the idea of long-term partnership, marriage, you know, settling down. Really? 
Yeah. Did I say something offensive? Did I like? Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. But that's something. But I don't want to overthink it. But I, anyway, I wanted to just talk to you and, and tell you that like your friend that you thought was amazing and gonna be, he doesn't even have communication skills to at least express or tell me why he didn't get back to me. A few years ago, I'd be the guy who right after we get off this date, mm -hmm. I call my boys and be like, I found her. I found the one. That used to be how I operate because I was just so optimistic. But I know that there's a lot more that goes into to dating and picking a partner so mm -hmm. i'm excited still but i'm a little bit more let's take our time and see where things go i will say be considerate and hear him out i want to be but it's just still kind of weird because you know what it's like i have seen him still post like everything's fine like so i'm just like well give it time let me it talk me? to him let me talk to him it'll, it'll be fine i have a big family i would love to replicate that someday um, how many kids do you want four to seven <laughs> well, well, <laughs> next question. Well, well, <laughs> next question. My evil man, right? Family is everything. <laughs> See ya. The bigger the family, the more kids you have. That and you only want one wife. On the family. Yes, of okay. course I want one wife. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm really impressed. Like you seem like you are really intentional. I am. Like you've given this a lot of thought. 100%. You I wrote are... it on my vision board at the start of the year. I can't yeah. lie, it's, re it's refreshing. Yeah? It's refreshing. That's good. I'm sure you have a lot of guy friends and a lot of them are in different places when it comes to where they are in dating and mm -hmm. what they want right now. You know, I, I use this word a lot when I talk about men and relationships, but your emotional intelligence seems to be a bit Hi. That is the best compliment yeah. I would ever receive. Yeah. I don't know about four to seven kids, though. No. You know what's so funny? I thought I wanted four kids. Maybe three or four. Maybe three, if, you know. You know. Go to Cabo one right. time Ooh. and, you know, dab a look, you know. No. Is that is that your dream? Yeah, not awkward. Not awkward at all. Or, to what? To go to Cabo? <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you visualize the whole I'm thing. Just, that's I, where couples I, go. I, like, I've that, heard so many stories. Oh, I want to go to Maldives for oh, my I've honeymoon. Never been. Yeah, for my honeymoon. Yeah, is that where you want to go for yours? Because we can probably set it up. She's ready, like right now. Instagram noodle. Get it while you can, Prince. Get it while you can. Yeah, yeah. Next week, I don't know. What's your schedule? Go to Maldives next week. Yeah, could you do that? I could do that. Okay, I could do that. I could work remote. So. Oh. Yeah, I can essentially work from anywhere. Work from anywhere? Too. Not you. So Maldives next week. Let's go. What do I need to bring? Are you gonna bring the ring? Cause I want to get yeah. proposed through there. Pregnancy and vacations. At the end of these people, put the speed in dating. I have it. All not me. I have kind of liking work. you. Yeah. yeah. Not that happening. No? Wow. I mean, if we have a second date, would you tell me more about the Capricorn experience in a bit more detail? Um. Big if, because I'm just assuming at this point you want to see me again. Alpha! Alpha! A man that knows what he wants. It's the confidence for me. So that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why, but do you see why, do you see why I don't really want to date? No, I... Like right now? Like it's not that I don't want to date, I do, but like do you see why? I, you know the people I've talked to. I like, know. you know how my dating know. parents, like, we're friends. I know. He's some you know? of the best looking options you've ever been presented with. No. I'm sorry. He, he <laughs> Don't do that here. Difficult people tend to have... Well, I mean, at least you and K-On are, are doing good. Yeah, we are. What? I, I mean, are at least... Curious? No, I'm saying at least somebody's blind date worked out here. Oh, yeah, I know. Because um, mine clearly didn't it. Yeah, because I'm a good person. Chemistry. And I'm not? You I'm, saw the chemistry, though. Well, Come on. I don't know. Your chemistry was not as much as mine, but thanks. But I don't have chemistry? I feel like my chemistry was more like a... a so are you saying... But, I, but you know I'm not a boring person and you know that we no, also You're not had, boring, but... we chemistry. also had a good connection. Definitely. You did. Um, but... Bro, I don't know. Like... Kind of the time. I don't know if I even really care for you to talk to him because I do feel like I'm a little over it now. It's just... I just wanted to tell you like what your friend did. Yeah. That's just like really weird. Like, right. to be honest, I don't even know if I even want to do this when? whole thing anymore. Like, me dating and open and expressing all that. Like, I don't really... I don't know. I don't, I don't really care to do it anymore. I'm not going to lie to you. It's okay, B. We'll figure it out. Don't be dramatic. I'm a Libra. Oh. Okay, maybe... I'm kind of feeling him a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still not ready. I mean, I don't know. 